Hi everybody, welcome to Cake Tasty Cakes. It's Jen and I'm gonna show you today how to make Pillow Cat from Gabby's Dollhouse. And if you find this video helpful, please don't forget to like and subscribe because it helps me out. To make our Pillow Cat, we're gonna start with her rings of color. I've got some peach color, I've got some mint green, I've got some rose color, I've got some light pink. I've got some other colors waiting in the wings that you don't even know about yet because that's just how colorful she is. But anyway, what I did was I took each of these colors, rolled them out to approximately the same thickness. The idea was the same thickness, but it wasn't quite as perfect as I hoped. And I'm using one circle cutter to cut out all my rings. I'm going to cut them all out to the same size and shape to make them all nice and uniform. And then I'm going to stack them up in color, in color order in order to make our pillow cat. Now I haven't rolled out or cut out the peach colored yet because I, I wasn't sure what I was going to do with it. So you're going to see that in a moment. But I put them together. I put my little sausage patties together here. Rolled them out so they're all nice and even and smooth as can be. And here is where I'm getting to the like peachy kind of color. I wasn't, like I said, I wasn't sure what I was going to do with it. If I wanted it the same thickness or not. So I was holding off on it. But it turned out I was not in the mood to try to be clever. So I just went ahead and did exactly the same thing as the rest. So here we go. We got our four colors for Pillow Cat all stacked up, ready to go. Now I'm going to put the little golden cap on her rear end. So I found the circle cutter that I used before. Rolled out some gold, pretty thin as you can see. Put a little water on it and slap it on the hiney. There you go. Now she's got her little gold outline on the back of her. I am going to use the same color gold now on the front. And this is going to be her face. Her face was kind of tricky. I wasn't too sure what to do with it, but this is what I came up with. I made a more of an oval shape, slightly larger than her body of the gold. And then I took some gold and added white to it to just make a light gold color. And as you can see, it's like a half oval circle egg kind of shape that just fits into the darker gold so that the darker gold outlines it. And then I just pressed it onto the front. So that's how I made her head. With the peach color, I wasn't sure if I wanted it to be angled so it would look like she was like turning her head, but it just became too much, so I went with a straight on approach. I'm using the same gold color as before for the for her rear end and for the outline of her head. Making her ears now, so I've got my little triangle going. I'm using the handle of my paintbrush to hollow out a little triangle inside that I'm now filling with that same rose colored in the center there. And I'm just kind of pulling it and brushing it. I'd used a little bit of water, you're going to see in a second, in order to make it stick. And you see how it also pulls out at the bottom? It distorts the shape. No problem. Just trim it off. And then you make yourself a second ear. I just flip the first one over and onto another piece to use it as a template. Again, you know, smoosh it down in the center there. Put a little water. Add your piece of rose-colored gum paste into the center there. Smooth it all out. Trim off that extra. There you go, pair of ears. Now stick them on with a little bit of water. Just make sure to watch your, your end corners of her ears when you press it down against her head. Mine kind of popped up a little bit because I didn't put enough water down on the corners and I wasn't paying attention enough. But see, looks cute, right? So far, so good. Okay, now I'm going to start with her tail. This is the same rose colored as before. I rolled out my little log, as you say. I cut the ends off so it would be flat on each end and then I put a circle that I just used a circle cutter of purple onto one end. I put another piece of the pink that you saw me cut off the other end on top of the purple and then I made a little purple cap, just a ball that I pressed onto the top. I'm going to attach it with a piece of dried spaghetti. So I put a pilot hole first with just a stick and then stick the tail in and there you go. Not too shabby. All right. Now moving on, I got my pink gum paste once again, and I rolled it out really thin. Used a very small circle cutter. I had to put two little cheeks onto my pillow cat. So now she's got her cute little pink cheeks. She's all sleepy and happy and just like all the other kitties, they all have those little pink cheeks. I put a little beanie there right in the center for, of pink for her nose that you see me press out there with the back of my paintbrush handle. And now I'm going to start adding legs. I'm just rolling out my log again of that same rose colored. I just cut the ends off, the rounded ends off, kind of at an angle. It didn't really work too well because it just didn't, I guess. I just kind of smushed them onto that back light pink color there. Those are the back paws. The front paws are going to be longer. The front legs, I should say, are going to be longer. 
So I have my, my long logs that I rolled out that I'm just wrapping around from behind her head into the front of her face because I found a picture of her that was sleeping that I thought was really cute. So this was kind of the idea I was going for since she's kind of a sleepy cat anyway. Maybe kind of like my um, spirit animal, you might even want to say. And so, yeah, that's why I chose this pose with this look. I mean, you could do her eyes open if you want, her mouth open, whatever. You know, this is just what I chose. Now, speaking of eyes, I just rolled out gum paste really, 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 really thin. Carefully curved it, as you can see, into little, like, letter U's and then put it on her face. And now I am filling in the rest of her with my food coloring markers. So I've got green that I'm making the dashes down her, her head. I have three rows. The longest is in the center. I'm using a brown food coloring marker to make dashed lines to make the stitches for her mouth. And you're going to see in a second, there's her mouth, there's her eyes. You can see the little green on her face too. I'm using red to make the dashes for the stitching on her little cheeks, her little pink cheeks, and her leg fell off. So just pretend you didn't see that. Okay, now I'm using purple. No, I'm sorry, this is blue. This is blue, not purple. Blue on the light pink on the back to make the stitching on both sides all around. Next is brown on the red, then red on the green, and then purple on the peach. So I'm going to use the purple again in a second too. Okay, I'm adding a couple stitch lines on the paws to go like between the toes to make the accent marks for where the feet are separate or the toes are separated. Now I'm doing the whiskers. I'm just moving right along here. I'm taking pieces of dried spaghetti, little pieces, wrapping some green around it, trimming it off. I'm kind of pulling the green off to one side and then trimming off the extra. Roll it to smooth it, tap the top a little bit, and then push it right in. I made two pilot holes on each side of her face, and I'm doing it into the dark gold because they kind of sit like behind or in that dark gold. They don't sit on the yellow part of her face. They're not toward the front. They're more pushed back. So just be aware of where you locate them. So again, I take a piece of green gum paste, wrap it around the spaghetti stick, trim off the extra, roll it just to smooth it, make it a little more even, and then put it in. And if you were to try to force this in without making those pilot holes first, you would ruin and smush everything on the, on the spaghetti. So make the pilot holes first. And yeah, a couple more toes on the back feet, and there you go. There's Pillow Cat, and I'm really happy with how she came out. I was very happy with her. So I hope you found this video helpful. Please do like and subscribe because, again, it really does help me out. Whether you guys believe it or not, it really does. I've got a lot of other videos out there, so please take a look at those, as well as several other of Gabby's Dollhouse Cats. And as always, guys, thank you very much for watching Cake Tastic Cakes.